G'day everybody. Um, we've had a few people recently on forums uh, asking uh, questions about whether it's possible to get uh, your image file you've been working on on your desktop PC um, that you've edited. If there's a better way to get it onto your Instagram page than through your mobile app um, on Instagram or using one of those terrible um, Android simulator programs for PC. So yes, there is a better way uh, to do it and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, so you've, let's just pretend you've done your edit um, here in Photoshop right now, I'm happy with that. And, and now I've skipped the process, I've actually uploaded this image into my uh, Flickr page. Now, uh, my browser I'm using is Opera. So here, I'm one of those weird kids that uh, use Opera. Um, but um, this process should work as well if you're gonna use uh, Chrome, uh, Safari, uh, I think, and um, Firefox Mozilla. Oh, it shouldn't matter. Um, all browsers should be able to do this process, okay? So, um, yeah, so my Flickr page already has uh, the tags uh, that I used, you know, for the shot. It's all sort of there already. So the next process is um, I hit a new tab and I'm gonna go to my Instagram page. Once I'm here, okay, I'm gonna right click the background and I'm gonna go inspect element. Now it might be called something different in different browsers, but there should always be a way to access this area. Um, it's basically the developer mode um, for, the, for the browser page that you're at. Um, now Opera had a little bit of a bug. I used to be able to just hit this refresh button up here and it would give me the icons down below. They seem to have disappeared. So what I've had to, to do, I don't know why, you might not have to do this stage, but uh, I have to just go Galaxy S5, hit the refresh, and voila, now the icons are there. Um, I don't know why they're, they're not there um, natively, but uh, there we go. But um, yeah, then I can hit the plus button and yeah, select the file. So here we go, just select the file. And from here, you do have, sometimes have a little bit of limitation with how you scale things, uh, but you know, you can hit this button here uh, to go sort of uh, one, one or um, sort of landscape, you can change the orientation, things like that. Maybe if you've got touch screen, you can pinch and zoom, I, I don't know. Um, but that looks fine. And then I just hit the next button. And then from here, this is what I do next. Next is uh, where you just write all your bump in like you normally do. And this is what I do. Um, normally when I do Instagram, I might load up four or five pictures at a time. And I do it kind of from Flickr. So I go to my Flickr page, I go organize. And then from here, I drag the files down here that I want to put up on Flickr. We'll just do one right now. Edit photos, titles, tags, and descriptions. And then it's just a bit of a copy and paste. Copy, go to Instagram, Control V. Put a little dot in there, go back to um, Flickr, Control A, Control C, Control V, okay? Another one. Now, when it gets to tags, it's a little bit different because the the tags in Flickr don't have hashtags, so I'm gonna add them in. So this is what I do. I, I just get a little notepad and bring that up here. Control V, so there's all my um, hashtags, uh, my, my tags. Edit, replace every space with a space and a hashtag, replace all. And I'm just gonna add one at the beginning. There you go, they've all got hashtags now. Control A, Control C, and we're going to go back to Instagram app and control V. Okay, as simple as that, that's it. And hit share. And so without having to email for photo anywhere, there we go, the photo's just sitting right there in my page. Okay, that's it. I hope that's helpful for somebody, uh, but that's what I do. Uh, seems to be, seems to work quite well. Cheers, bye.